Have you ever wondered if we are alone in the universe? Or if there are other intelligent beings out there? Why haven't we met them yet? This is the Fermi Paradox, one of the most puzzling questions in science and philosophy. In this video, we will explore how scientists have solved this paradox and why they are not happy about it. The Fermi Paradox was named after physicist Enrico Fermi, who asked a simple question in 1950. Where is everybody? He was referring to the absence of clear evidence for extraterrestrial life, despite the enormous size and age of our galaxy. The Milky Way. Fermi reasoned that if an advanced civilization could travel even at a modest fraction of the speed of light, it should have colonized the entire galaxy in a relatively short time compared to its age. Since this hasn't happened, Fermi concluded that intelligent species should have visited Earth by now, making their presence known. But how likely is it that such civilizations exist in the first place? To answer this question, we can use Frank Drake's equation formulated 61 years ago. This equation attempts to estimate the number of communicating civilizations in our galaxy by considering factors like star formation rate, the fraction of stars with planets, habitable planets, the emergence of life, development of intelligence, and the likelihood of broadcasting detectable signals into space. Using conservative assumptions, we can calculate that there should be approximately 6,400 actively broadcasting civilizations in our galaxy. However, this number is highly uncertain due to several factors. For example, we don't know how long a civilization can survive before it goes extinct or stops communicating. We also don't know how common life is in the universe, or how often it evolves into intelligence. So, if there are thousands of civilizations out there, why haven't we heard from them? This is where the paradox becomes more puzzling. There are several possible explanations for this silence, ranging from mundane to mind-blowing. One possibility is that we are too late to join the galactic club. Maybe other civilizations have already risen and fallen before we even existed. Maybe they destroyed themselves through war or environmental degradation. Maybe they were wiped out by natural disasters such as asteroids or supernovas. Maybe they transcended their physical forms and became invisible to us. Maybe they left our galaxy for other destinations. Maybe they are hiding from us for some reason. Another possibility is that we are too early to join the galactic club. Maybe other civilizations are still in their infancy or have not yet developed intelligence or technology. Maybe they are not interested in communicating with us or exploring the galaxy. Maybe they are afraid of us or other hostile species. Maybe they are following some ethical or religious principles that prevent them from interfering with other worlds. A third possibility is that we are looking in the wrong way or at the wrong place. Maybe other civilizations use communication methods beyond our current understanding, such as neutrinos or lasers, making their signals undetectable by our technology. Maybe they communicate at a pace we don't recognize, such as every million years or every nanosecond. Maybe they are located in regions of space that are inaccessible or invisible to us such as black holes or dark matter. But what if none of these possibilities are true? What if there is a more sinister explanation for the Fermi paradox? What if we are truly alone in the universe? This is the solution that some scientists have proposed, and they are not happy about it. They argue that the development of a galaxy colonizing civilization is an extremely rare event due to multiple exceptional barriers in the evolutionary process. The steps from a suitable planet to an interstellar civilization may be uniquely challenging explaining the scarcity of extraterrestrial civilizations. They call this idea the Great Filter Hypothesis. The Great Filter could be behind us or ahead of us. If it is behind us, it means that we are one of the lucky few who have overcome the hurdles of life and intelligence. Some examples of possible filters behind us are the origin of life from non-living matter, abiogenesis, the transition from single-celled to multi-celled organisms, eukaryogenesis, and the emergence of language and culture, cognogenesis. If it is ahead of us, it means that we are doomed to face some insurmountable obstacle that will prevent us from reaching our full potential. Some examples of possible filters ahead of us are self-destruction through war or environmental degradation, anthropogenesis, extinction by natural disasters such as asteroids or supernovas, cosmogenesis, or suppression by other superior civilizations, xenogenesis. The Great Filter Hypothesis implies that either we are very special or very doomed. Either way, it suggests that we should not expect to find any evidence of alien life in the near future, and that we should cherish our existence and our planet. In conclusion, the Fermi Paradox raises profound questions about the existence of intelligent life beyond Earth. Despite calculations and hypotheses, we currently remain alone in our cosmic isolation. Whether we are truly unique or simply early in the cosmic timeline remains a tantalizing mystery. In the meantime, we have the opportunity to continue evolving and becoming the best versions of ourselves using this time wisely.